again and it did it brought everybody back together in that family so it does it does make you think what what, what dogs are capable of but Endley's a smart smart dog but where had Endel learned his powers to help and heal? Eleven years on, Alan is visiting Judith Turner, who cared for Endel as a puppy, to find out if she has any answers. Who's that then, Endel? Who's well, that? Who's that then? Go and see. Hello. Who's that? Yes. Yes. Who's that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Judith is Endel's puppy parent. Uh, she had him from when he was six weeks old until he came to me just over a year old. He's never forgotten her, and it's really nice now she can see that he's, he's really served his time. Uh, he was an only puppy. Do you remember? Did yeah. you remember that? Yeah. Um, so when he came, he was used to you know, being, being absolutely top dog. He was a very sweet puppy. <laughs> he was a strong dog, uh, mentally and physically, actually. Yeah. That superior look he has. Yeah. He was master of all he surveyed. He, he... Stood up, looked at you rather superiorly and said, well, what do you want me to do? Because I am the best. Well, it must have been difficult for you, because I, oh. I wasn't the full Sherbet when I took Endel, you know, when you oh, think well, about I don't it. Know. I mean, Endel's changed you... Alan's life completely. Oh. You know, Alan was difficult. He was withdrawn, he wouldn't open doors, he wouldn't answer telephones, he wouldn't talk to people. And Endel was there for him in these great big black periods. He wasn't just there for him to open the doors and get the post washing machines, you know, turn on the kettle. He was there for all the really black times. Endel had brought a whole new future for Alan. Wonderful broad head. Isn't he? And looking straight at the camera, none of this sort of mucking around. Yeah. You know, here I am, take my photograph. You can pull your heart out to a dog, and he's not going to say three days later, oh, do you remember what you said? Well, you, did you mean that, or were you just being stupid? You know, they, they're not a post-mortem, everything you do with them. They're, they're there. Whatever you do, they are there for you. And Alan needed that so badly a dozen years ago. Come on, you come and say goodbye. There you yes. go. Yes, yes. Yes. There you go. Come go on, on then, go, big boy. Sweetie. Come up on, you go. go. Come on, and, uh, come, come, there you go. Oh, there we go. And it wasn't just Alan's life that Endel had turned round. After years spent being her husband's carer, Sandra's life was changing too. I honestly thought I would just be in this carer role at home every day doing nothing really. It was the being able to do something for me that was mine and it gave me the satisfaction that I wanted. Sandra now had a full-time job at Canine Partners as puppy coordinator, but still had concerns for Alan's long-term psychological welfare. On the surface of everything, it looked as if we were back on track and everything was fine and Alan was better and, and you know, Endel had come in and, and sort of waved a magic wand. It improved his speech, but that didn't mean to say that his thoughts came any quicker. Ten years after the accident, Sandra had regained her freedom and was travelling all over the country with her job. But it was time to rethink her feelings for her husband and decide where her future happiness would lie. You know, with Endel coming in, there was a different person there. And I think that was made me realise I wasn't going to get Alan back. I had to work with what I had. Alan and Sandra had been married for 19 years, but Alan couldn't remember the wedding. After all they'd been through, they decided to recommit to spending the rest of their lives together. And on the 9th of November 2002, Alan and Sandra were married for the second time. She just blew me away when she came down that aisle. It was just, just amazing. Just had no idea what you would look like, and uh, it was just amazing. I fell in love with her once, obviously, when I first married her, but whatever it was, I'd fallen in love with the first time. When that door pulled back is what I fell in love with the second time. You don't feel there's that pressure to be what you were before. Um, neither of us are what we mm. were before. It was the start of our future and not, just not looking back where we've been, you know, and that, that's a wrong place and a sad place to be. And, you know, how long ago is it now? Three, four years? Seven. Seven. Right, seven, seven years. Seven years this year. Wow. 
Mm, time fly. After all the hardships they've survived, Alan and Sandra are now facing new challenges. Having turned Alan's life around and having saved their relationship, Endel is no longer the young puppy that had bounced into their lives 11 years ago. Quite recently, he's had a, a major hic health hiccup, uh, which meant he went very seriously lame on his front legs. As a puppy, Endel had problems with the joints in his front legs, and recently he has been in a lot of pain. Okay, that's it. I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Well done, good boy. One expert has suggested it might soon be time to put him to sleep. Alan is keen for a second opinion. Well done. All right, so we'll just check him right from the bottom to the top. Good boy. Dogs can't tell you where they hurt. Okay. Does that hurt? Yeah. All right, bud. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Now. Okay, I'll make this as quick as I can. Hold tight. All right, big guy. Good boy. Okay, it's fine. Let go. His problem is in his front legs. And his problem specifically is in his elbows. What we do know is he has elbow arthritis. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good boy. I literally poked him no harder than that, and he hit the roof. And I showed Alan that, and then I think it dawned on him, well, hang on, maybe this dog is suffering more than we think. I, I know a vet's got to test the threshold, and, um, but when I was in there and Endel yapped on the first leg, and then I knew it was coming on the second leg, I, I just felt awful. I mean, I felt like a parent must feel when their children undergo pain, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a horrible, heart-wrenching sound, you know, to hear your dog yapping in pain. Yeah, the bond between an assistance dog and that assistance dog's uh, guardian is even more critical than the bond between an owner and a pet. And the reason for that is that not only do they have an emotional bond, but they have a physical bond. This is quite a responsibility, and I've had happiness with Endel, I've had, I've had sadness, I've, you know, and now we're sort of suffering the pain and the hurt together because everything Endel's feeling, I am. Alan needs to think hard about what he wants to do because on the one hand, he could elect for euthanasia, which is unlikely. Come on, Endel Parton, come on. He could elect come for on, surgery, let's go. Let's go. which is unlikely and probably on morally thin ice, <laughs> given the age of the dog. Good boy. So he's going to probably elect for medical management. Endel is in constant pain. We can't cure him, but we can certainly help him. My fear is that how much of the Allen that that I've got through Endel will then go back. You know, what, what will he lose? Will it maybe be his speech or will he stop wanting to go out? Will he worry more about things? Um, what will he focus on? You know, do we go back to that awful dark two of us in the house together not really knowing what to do?
1998, Sandra and Alan's marriage was on the rocks. But Endel, a yellow Labrador, changed the course of history and brought the couple back from the brink. It is nice. There's always been this third person in our relationship, but, I mean, it's been a good person. It's been the oil in our life, you know, where before, you know, maybe we wouldn't be together. I see Endel as the dog that is not between us, pushing us apart, but it's what holds us, I suppose, together, really. But 11 years on, Endel's arthritis is causing him a lot of pain. He still is a giving dog. He still wants to give. He still wants to be there, but his body's letting him down. As part of Endel's ongoing pain management, Alan has brought him swimming. What we do at Greyfriars is look at quality of life. We try to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, allow dogs to exercise, and really extend their life if possible. Actually getting out doing exercise, which doesn't compact on his joints and actually allows him to, to move freely and, and in a pain-free way is really important. We go in that water, you know, we, we can leave all our disabilities behind. Come on. Come on, rescue me. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Endel helped Alan escape the depression and mood swings that overwhelmed him after his accident. But Alan's memory still causes him problems. The, the, the problems I first had, like long and short memory problems, still remain. And memories I make now, I'm still forgetting. His current dread is losing his memories of Endel. My greatest fear is, is forgetting moments in Endel's life. I mean, I have a good photographic record, but there's more behind Endel. There's, there's the whole feeling behind him. And, uh, and this is just lovely to see him as relaxed as this. It was love, compassion, caring, all, all those things that I, I wasn't capable of. He'd not only nurtured other things, but he was nurturing this rebirth of a new person. Mm. Oh. Yes, I do. I love you to pieces. The best comrade anyone could ever have. He says he's now got emotions, but, but they're quite different emotions. They're, they're emotions that he's... he's He's sort of built and put together in his new life. They're still not the emotions, they're not natural emotions. And I know he talks about when Endel isn't there anymore, and he, that's probably the only time I see him naturally emotional. Aware of the need to retire Endel, Alan has been forced to take a big step. It's always been his sort of dream to to have Endel's successor meet Endel. So I suppose we've been sort of half-heartedly looking for a couple of years. But Alan has very specific visions for the new puppy. Alan wanted yellow, wanted it to look like Endel, so he had a big you know, space to fill. So this eight-month-old Labrador, Endel Junior, was introduced into the Parton family, joining Endel and the family's golden retriever, Ikea. When, when we introduced EJ, my greatest fear was how, how Endel w would accept him. But the young puppy was a quick learner. Training with young EJ it has been starting right from the beginning. He's, he's a raw recruit. He doesn't know what I require of him. He's watched Endel do an awful lot, and, and that's been really helpful. I mean, Endel's really fulfilled a mentoring role, you know, the, the way he does things. But, but, but EJ's still very much a giggly puppy. It's just trying to calm him down. EJ, no! Thank you, come here. EJ, come here. You know, oh. he'll never get it right every time. I mean, I've had Endel now for 11 years getting it right, and, and I'm right back at the beginning. But it's fun, and, and every day we learn something new. And EJ seems to love the limelight too. OK, OK, OK. All right, OK. <laughs> where, 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 sorry. <laughs> EJ. There are traits of Endel in EJ, I think, because EJ's spent some time with Endel and has learned a few things by watching Endel. There is a huge pressure on, on me and EJ at the moment, uh, media pressure and, and our own personal pressures. You know, I've got a lot of eggs into this basket now and, uh, you know, I want it to succeed. You know, EJ and I are bonding every day and that's getting stronger and stronger. Hug with the man in the wheelchair, don't you, eh? Right, can we put you down, do you think? Or not? 
I love you too. Oh, I do. I think you're the nicest thing in the world. Like, well, second to Endel. There you go. There. Okay. Thank you, EJ. Good boy. Bring it here. Good boy. Thank you. Well done. Good boy. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Little monkey. Good boy. Get the washing. Good boy. Thank you. Well done. In December 2000.